I'm going to teach you how you can also use the program QuickTime to create a screencast. QuickTime is not an application that I have in my dock, so to get the QuickTime application, I open up my hard drive, I go to the Applications folder, I scroll down until I find the word QuickTime. QuickTime Player, I have actually two of those. QuickTime Player 7 does not have the capability of making a screen recording. It's QuickTime Player with this looking light cue um, is the version that we want. You can see it's version 10. So I'm going to double click QuickTime Player, pops up, and I'm going to close this window to get it out of my way. The next thing I'm going to do is in order to start the recording, I just simply go to File and I have three different types of options for recording movies. I'm going to do a screen recording so it captures my desktop. I'm going to click on that and this it comes up. Underneath this little arrow right here I have some options. The microphone, if you don't see your voice vibrating right here then you need to make sure that you're selected to use the built-in microphone and that your volume is turned up nicely. I find that works well. I also um, changed where I want my movies to save to. I think by default it actually puts it in your movie folders and I just didn't like that so I simply click the choose button and I came over to my house and I told it I wanted to save it to my desktop and then I click choose. So now I have my recording set up how I want it. To begin recording you just simply click the red bullseye. This window comes up telling me that if I want to stop the recording, I just simply click stop recording in the menu bar, which is up here at the top. Or I can use the command control escape buttons on my keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and click start recording and my uh, QuickTime player little thing goes away. The next thing I'm going to uh, show you is uh, a little screencast on how to get the TV set to show up in here so that you can quickly and easily change your display preferences. Some of us don't have the little TV set showing up. So in order to get that you go to the Apple System Preferences. Move over about the second line under Hardware, click on Displays, and simply put a check mark at the bottom where it says Show Displays in Menu Bar and there it is. By default you want to use the either 1280 or 1020 stretched. Those are the two that you'll, you would prefer to use. So that's how easy it is to put the little TV set up here so whenever you're displaying on the smart board or a projector and your displays kind of mess up you can um, easily get to your different settings. All right, well, now I'm done with my video, so I'm going to click up here, Stop Playing, and here is my QuickTime recording. My uh, QuickTime player little thing goes away. The next thing I'm going to uh, show you is uh, a little screen cap. All right, so you can see it's just a simple QuickTime. It makes it already uh, .mov file. I'm going to quit QuickTime goes away. This is actually the file of my video. Just by double clicking that. My uh, QuickTime player. There it goes. And you can um, see all the different things that I was showing. It, it captures your whole entire desk nicely. In order to change the name of this screencast, I can just simply click and wait. Setting your display .mov. .mov is important to leave it on the end of your file name because that tells your computer that it's a movie file and that to use uh, QuickTime with it, especially when you are uploading these things to different um, web-based programs like Vimeo or uh, YouTube. So we're just going to leave it like that and that's quickly how to make a QuickTime video using QuickTime Player, uh, QuickTime Player version 10.